skunk lifestyle what's going on yo trust me today is going to be an eventful day like we have a lot happening today um literally just literally got up like at about five o'clock this morning today is sunday january the 30th i think and i got a good call i got a call from one of my good friends i mean you guys have seen him on the vlog before today is back on the vlog again so big up to dante he had the e63 and trust me that car was a monster but dan is always that person that i go to when i say yo can we get some pulls in this car in that car and when i talk in those cars we're talking the high-end supercars so today i have something nice for y'all for the vlog and trust me big up to rep ja easy me them have me out here today repping the clothing line so i'm gonna actually just pull up to dan right now and we're gonna get a quick scoop on the cars we're gonna take a run head back and then get a walk around of the cars so this is gonna be reversal we're gonna be doing action first then we'll talk about the cars after so let's go dante yo yo what's up what's always up? a pleasure bro what's up what's, what's up? up what's up All so right. what's the plan for today all right today we have three special 911s for you we have a 997 uh turbo s cabriolet yep we have a 991 turbo s and then we have a 991.2 gt3 so going to be a lot of fun checking out the 911 world as i myself aspire to move into a 911 yeah all right let's go all right Yo, lifestyle, trust me, you know I had to fall out today. So, fams, I'm new to the Porsche world, really and truly. Um, haven't really gotten a chance to do much features on them, so I'm I'm learning as much as you today. So, I'm, I'll have Dan tell us everything about these cars, isn't it? Me? So, I'll just give you a walk around of what we'll be looking at today. So, this is actually the Porsche 911 Turbo S. And from my knowledge, these are clearly turbo um 3.8 liters so we're gonna take a look at what the other one then we have this beautiful porsche gt3 right here this one is an all motor um four liter i think so i'll be getting a next walk around on this later when dan is free and he'll show us and tell us a little bit more of what this car is packing and what makes this car so special well we can see why this car is special just the design, aerodynamical, and these cars fit well for both street and truck. So, you know, I had to get this vlog for you guys today. Then, we have this beautiful black beast right here. And trust me, these are all great cars for both street and truck. Although some of them are basically tailored differently. And this one is a Turbo S again. So, convertible as you can see. So. Let's get the cold stuff on this car right now. Yeah, lifestyle. So, we're actually starting the vlog a little differently today. Um, when we're doing some talking with Dan, he'll be giving us a breakdown of what these cars are made of and what makes them so differently. Um, the thing with me with Porsche is so much dynamics like so much different models specs all of that type of stuff so dan is a man who's very experienced in this field so dan can you give me because i mean i'm sure the viewers would want to know as well what's the difference between like the, the gt3 and the turbo s versus the turbo versus the yeah 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 well you know porsche makes 20 different versions of the 911 right and it starts with the basic career we have the Carrera S, you have a few other variations, and you have a GTS right. as a nice all in one package. Yeah. Um, and then you come up to the performance track version of the car, the GT3. Which is this. Which is this, what we're driving down. Right. After the GT3, you get into a Turbo and then a Turbo S, and then maybe a GT2 RS. So it's sort of the order of um, the oh, most powerful flow. cars and how they flow. Okay. The GT3 that we're driving here now, this is a 991.2, so it's a third generation. <laughs> Yeah. GT3, 4 liter, normally aspirated, revs to 9,000 RPM. This one has in the PDK dual clutch transmission, which is the best thing on earth. Um, which is the best thing on earth. The minute you drive it, you no longer need a standard shift car anymore. In fact, yeah. this car does um, stock 
2, 0 to 60. Well, two in the PDK two. version and in the standard shift version, it's like 3.7 seconds. It's a half a second faster because of how fast it changes the gears. Yeah, that's like basically maybe like low 11s out of the box. Yeah, yeah, 11.2, 11 11.3 yeah. out of the box. Low 11s out of the um, box, trust According me. to Porsche, and we've seen guys pull them at three, three seconds flat. Yeah. And then the newer version, the 992 GT3, which, which we saw the shark blue one that just came to Jamaica. Right. That has a 2.8 zero to 60 time still the same four liter all motor eight. just tuned a little bit more it's crazy in the pdk version and again yeah. like i say once you drive it you know you never need a stick shift again like you can see the gear changes here yeah it goes up and down the gearbox beautifully yeah and uh, as soon as we warm them up we'll get a pull to 9000 rpm sweet machines the other ones we have with us today are a 997 turbo s right so that's like a fourth generation Turbo uh, 911, right. and we also have a 991 first generation of the 991 Turbo S. That's a vert, right? Yep, yep. Yeah. The Turbo S's, as you know, uh, certainly in the modern era in the last decade, are all four wheel drive cars. Right. Uh, okay, so all Turbo S's are four wheel drive. All Turbo S's, certainly in the last decade or so, um, are um, 15 years, are four wheel drive. So once you have a Turbo S, it's all wheel drive. Right. 3.8 liter uh, the horsepower has ranged from the 997 that we had their stock it was 530 when it first came out to the 991 when it got up to 550 horsepower crazy so this turbo cars. s in front of us now this one is running about how much power how much horsepower well that's being tuned but stock it was 550 550 okay uh, 2.8 0 to 60 10.9 quarter mile out of the box nice and both cars have been tuned so they're both making Crazy horsepower. I'm sure they picked up 100 horsepower each. Yeah. Really fast cars. Still well balanced. You can drive it every day. You know, the suspensions are adaptable, so when you're going slow, it's soft. When you're going fast, it stiffens up. And even this car is a GT3. You can you can tell it's not a crazy. No, it's not. It's not, it's not fully rigid. No. It's a it's a great balance between yeah. street and truck. Absolutely. It's, you know, it's a I little really loud. Yeah. Uh, it'll, it, in fact, when we uh, get on the highway, you'll see. We have a, a button here for exhaust. Nick, okay, you can, press that. Up. you can press that when you're ready. For the valves to yep. open up. And at some point in time, you'll probably want to turn it off. The car is really loud, crazy. I right, can't wait to hear that. Yep. Yep. So Dan, I realize you know a lot about Porsche, right? What's your favorite model? Yeah, I think, um, you know, you have to be practical. I think the Turbo S's are for bragging rights. They're crazy fast cars. Yeah. I've been to a few track days with them. and. I mean, even I can't manage the Turbo S fully. I'm probably driving it at 50, 60% of the potential. Makes my E63 look like I'm going backwards. <laughs> um, well, my M340 look yeah, like you're going backwards. Correct, correct. So I like the GT3 because it's all motor. Yeah. You know, revs the 9,000 RPM. And even around Kingston, I hear people say, where, where do you have roads for these cars? The GT3 is it, perfect. It's for perfect. It's, I agree with you. It's, it's fun at 80 kilometers. It's fun at 180 kilometers. It's crazy fun at 300 kilometers. Yeah. No, I know, I know. I mean, the last time I'm you guys... open up the valve so we can hear it for the first time. I think she's warmed up a bit. Yeah. Nice. Trust me. It's really a pleasure to really get a chance to be a part of these cars because, you know, they've been in Ireland for some time now, but, you know, the vibe already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. Know, it's just good energy. And, you know, recently you guys did a pull last week with a whole bunch of... Uh, how was that? It was fun. I, I organized getting out six 911s. And Six. yep, we went out for a drive. One broke away in Ochoa, so I don't think that one got featured. But it was a lot of fun. Yeah. Spirited drive on the highway. And uh, let me be quiet for a second, like you heard this boat for the first time. What? No, I know why you want one. Absolutely. A lot of fun. Whoa. And that's a pull just to 80 kilometers, you know what I mean? But that all motor, high revving. Great. Was that to about 9,000? Yep, yep. I think we got 8,000 RPMs. Wow. Yo, this model, I actually like this model. And I know why I would want this model. Because like you said, the Turbo S is very fast. But the power to weight and, and the balance and stuff, the all motor, I think, around town, would have the, 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 the goal for me. Yep, they also have a GTS, so Xander's first 
first 911 that he had here before he upgraded to the uh, that one, GT3. That was, the GTS, uh, that was our motor as well. The GTS is it's a three liter turbo. Oh, turbo. And so, as I said, you had the Carrera and the Carrera S and the GTS, and the GTS comes sort of fully loaded. Yeah. It's a it's a great Porsche. It's the best one to have in my view uh, before you start spending crazy money. Yeah. Very well balanced car as well too. Um, it's also, you know, fairly sought after, but nothing like a GT3. GT3s are limited production. Yeah. In their uh, each generation run, they rarely ever make more than about 1,200 of them. Right. So it's a very, very hard car to get. No, I know. Very I, hard car to get. You know, when I posted the Zandos GT3, the recent one, you know, people from even overseas were saying, oh, how, you know, how did we get the allocation for that car, you know, because it's so hard to, to get. Let's go to nine. So the, it's always tricks me. So the 996, 997, 991, and now 992 are the generation of 911s. Okay. And then in each 911, like I said, you have 20 variants, starting with the Carrera. Carrera. So the 911 Carrera is sort of the base model. Okay, so the Carrera is base model. Base model, and then you go to Carrera S. And then after a while, they don't want to double up on the names, but they're all basically Carrera. So okay. if it's a Target, that's a hard top. If it's a Cabriolet, that's a soft top. If it's a GT. It's an all motor. Yeah. If it's a turbo, it, it means turbo. Although five years ago, all 911s now start with turbos, and only the GT3 drops the turbo. Nice. I learned something new today. So all uh, all 911s um, start with turbo, is it? Right? Nowadays, yeah. So even though we still have a turbo S, it's kind of funny because even the base 911 Carrera now has a turbo. Okay. Three liter turbo. There's there's a turbo coming up there now. Nice. It's great to see that we have, you know, like love, maybe I, a dozen 911s. Yeah, I love to Jamaica. see. I think they're getting some gears right there. Yeah, I love to see that. To be honest, it is. It's, it's really a joy, like to even know that we're on the Jamaican soil with these type of cars. Um, so I mean, I know recently you've been, um, you know, you've been around a lot of high-end vehicles. So uh, we have, we have the Porsche. We also have the AMG GT as well, Duncan's own. Yeah, yeah. Um, the Lamborghini Huracan. And I know people would want to know what's that like when all of you guys roll out. Like, what's, yeah. what's the difference in the variation? Yep, of cars. It's, it's a lot of fun. I've driven them all. Yeah. Um, and I mean, for the Jamaican roads, obviously you can only go so fast. So you know, it really comes down to your preference. Yeah. I think nothing compares to the 911s for track events. So I've been to the track events, and they're bulletproof. Yeah. Bulletproof. You know, we were there in October, Alabama, and we met two guys that drove their GT3s from Atlanta. Nice. Two hour drive to the racetrack. Had Cha some fun, I changed, went back. Changed the tire pressure, raced for two full days, and then when they're done driving back to Atlanta, we saw Lambos there, we saw McLarens there, that came in on trailers. Yeah. Because you can't, you know, drive a McLaren across the country and race for two days and drive back. You yeah, don't yeah, have yeah. that level of reliability. So nice. the 911 is special in terms of it's a car they've been making for over 50 years. Right. And every three years they improve on the car and it's just a bulletproof tractor. You can launch this car 50 times in a day and it won't trouble the warranty. Yeah. You can't do that with, a, with, a, with any other car that I own. Yeah. So you so outright this is the is one of the most balanced cars that you have driven in. Absolutely. Porsche, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. By far. And, and like I said, it has a great gearbox, great suspension. Yeah, I realize you know yeah. when you press on the brake it just it just gears down. Automatically. Quickly. Yep, yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I, I was an evolution man as you well know. Yeah. Your your, <laughs> your, your brother too and quite a few of my evolutions to me. I love the standard shift, but yeah. the first day I got into the M5 with its DCT transmission. I realized, you know, I didn't really need a stick shift. Yeah. But from the BMW DCT to the Porsche PDK, there 
there's no comparison. Yeah, you know, I heard you guys talking about the PDK transmission. Um, that's basically Porsche's DCT, correct? Basically, that's exactly But, but, but a very advanced level. Very advanced. You know, the minute you touch the brake, the car is gearing down. It knows what gear you want to be in, you know what I mean? Yeah. We're in fifth gear here now, and you touch the brake, fourth, third, second. Mad.
but it's just make you want to have a good time. What a sweet pull a while ago in these cars like trust me. I'm telling you what a vibe um, We just pulled over a while ago reach, just reached back to Kingston So I'm gonna just pull up after this give you guys a quick walk around Let Daniel show us a couple features about the cars and all of that type of stuff and trust me a nice son big up on itself So the GT3 trust me Crazy revving power up to 9,000 rpms um, we wanted to take a pull in the turbo yesterday, but unfortunately we didn't get to but we'll get to do it another day Isn't it? Um, as you guys can see The variation of these cars on the highway a while ago um, The turbos definitely have some topping power Over the all motor, but it's keeping up as well And I'm telling you what a nice day. What a nice vibe. Big up to everybody that's watching so far So we're gonna flip into the next all right, lifestyle. Look at what we popped up on here today. The V10 M5 right now, and Dan is pretty familiar with the M5. Yes, yes, ab absolutely. So this is the V10, beautiful sounding engine. Before they moved to the newer generation V8 4.4 twin turbo. Right. This V10 was a lovely sounding engine. Hopefully, we'll get to hear a pull out of it. It's a beautiful. Yeah, car. looking good right now. A lovely M5 right now. If you're a BMW fan, you definitely appreciate this right now. So you know the vibe already, the classic M3, good vibe. So, trust me lifestyle, today is a nice little energy and thing, as you can see, nice little vibe, you know. Yo, 
lifestyle. Tell me that's not like a work of art, yo. Car sounds great. So we actually just got back now and just gonna do a quick walk around of the cars we've done. And then you don't know. Let's go inside. Wicked vibe, right? Yeah, nice run, eh? What do you think? Yeah, excellent run. You know, I just wanted to just give a quick walk around on the car before I close out the vlog so people could understand. So in the Turbo no. S, it has the the adjusting um, spoiler, right? Yep, the Turbo S has the spoiler that comes up at speed right. uh, and adjusts uh, over. This one is fixed. This one fixed. is fixed. Right. Um, you can change the angles of it, but it's a fixed spoiler on the GT3. Nice. We're running some Michelin Pilot Sport, right? Yep, yep. Staggered rims on this one. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Pilot Sport. Right. And again, this is the 991.2 generation of the GT3. Right. So it's great. Of course, we just got a 992 in Jamaica. Yeah. So we'll feature that soon. But this is the all motor 4 liter 500 horsepower GT3, which is just an amazing car. Right. An amazing car. As, as you felt a while ago. Of course, definitely. And then we have the Turbo S here. Yeah, this is the Turbo S Cabriolet. Right, Cabriolet uh, means convertible. Convertible, yeah, yeah. This is a 997 generation of the, G the Turbo S. Right. So 997, then we moved up to the 991. Um, spoiler. Comes up with speed. Right, so this, uh, this self adjusts with speed. Yeah. That's correct. Any PHR, no nice. Love this. Love this. This machine. one has the carbon, yeah, exactly. carbon ceramic brakes. Okay. So this one has a carbon ceramic there. Yeah, so that's where we get a steel. That one we stayed with steel. Right. Center locking rims, both of them. Yeah, all of these. One lock. These lock nuts. This is actually what locks the wheel to the... As we know, there's nothing in the front, just the boot. <laughs> the engine's in the back. 3.8 liter twin turbo, 530 horsepower stock in the 997 generation of this course. Of course, this car has been fully upgraded. It makes easily 150 horsepower over Sweet. stock. Uh, full suspension, full tune, new turbos, intercooler, proper, proper, proper. Hey Dan, I just want to say thanks again for the pull today and rounding up the vehicles all the time for us. You know? Absolutely, always a pleasure and I think the 911s are really something special. Um, great to have the dealership here, big up yourself, Adam Stewart. And we look forward to seeing more in Jamaica. So we'll see you again soon, right? Soon come. Big thanks. up. Yeah, lifestyle so pretty much closing out the vlog now i really hope you guys enjoy this episode you don't know the vibe already if you're new to the channel just like share and subscribe big up my sponsors as always big up to miracle corp providing amsoil falcon tires just to name a few big up to grab and go for always fueling us big up to monster for always energizing us so you know closing out the vlog right now and big up to rep ja is me we're out